I will only be putting in three hundred dollars a month for our living expenses. What? What do you mean? Someone at work said that they are able to manage living with three hundred dollars a month for their living expenses. We should be able to live with around three hundred dollars or so then. What are you saying? How do you think we'd live with just three hundred dollars a month? My friend is able to live with that. Don't complain when you haven't even put a cent into this household. Since you've done whatever you want to now, I'll be doing what I want to do from now on. My husband would not even hear me out, and he started to spend his money on whatever he wants. My name is Emily. I'm a 32 years old housewife. I currently work from home. Originally, I was a housewife with a part-time job. Ever since things started to get rough, started a side job just about a year ago. Since I started earning good money from the side job, I quit my part-time job and kept this side job. However, I do all the housework, so I'm really busy every day. I work while pressed for time and prepare dinner before my husband comes home. In between all of that, I clean, and that is how I live daily. Thankfully, it has been getting busier and busier with more work these days, and each minute is valuable. Hey, I'm home. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. I'm cooking dinner now, so please wait a little bit more for dinner. What? Dinner isn't ready yet. I come home all tired, and dinner isn't even ready. <sighs> That's so disappointing. I'm so sorry. Your bath is ready, so go take a bath first. Rob and I have been married for four years. We met at a matchmaking party and eventually got married. I thought my husband was sincere and seemed like a nice person, but gradually his self-centered personality became more and more apparent. First off. He never did any housework. He had lived at his parents all his life and has never cooked, or even done laundry in his life. So he left everything to me and never did any cleaning. At first, I didn't mind because I was a housewife. I realized it would be difficult for two of us to live on just my husband's salary, so I started working part time early on. It is hard to do all the housework. On top of a part-time job, but any time I ask my husband to lightly clean on his days off, he'd say, "It makes me tired, and I don't know how to," and wouldn't bother to help me at all. I have just gave up on the whole idea of it and decided that I'll just do it all on my own. My husband complains about every single thing, even though he doesn't do it himself. I want my hamburger steak with cheese and a sunny side up egg. You don't use soy sauce for chili tofu. You use ajipong. Can you make my shirts more sharp? Iron it better. It really pisses me off when he pick and stuff like this. If I tell him to go do it himself, he says that he's the breadwinner of the household and argues. If that's the case, why don't you? Go make more money like the actual breadwinner, is what I thought. But if I said that, that would cause a huge argument, so I don't add to it. For a start, my husband doesn't seem to understand my work at home job at all. Even when I explain to him that I'm busy with work, he'd say stuff like, "You're just messing around with your computer, right?" Don't be so arrogant when you don't even make the much money, and dismisses me. I manage all the household finances, so he thinks that we live just fine with only his paycheck. I see my husband return from work and lay on the couch while watching TV, and it irritates me all the time. And it's even more annoying because he thinks that I don't make that much money. I think what makes me mad most about this is that he doesn't make that much money at all. If it was someone that makes a lot of money saying these things, even 
if there was something that bothered me, I'd be able to brush it off because he's making a lot of money for both of us. Well, I chose him to be my partner, so I just have to convince myself no matter what. But just right when I was constantly irritated with him, my husband made an unbelievable comment. I will only be giving three hundred dollars a week for our living expenses. What? I just couldn't believe what just came out of my husband's mouth that I almost dropped my chopsticks. What do you mean? Did they lower your pay? Did you get fired? I imagined that worst case scenario, but then my husband started telling me something outrageous. I just realized that you've been draining my money. What? That someone at work had told me that they are able to live off of three hundred dollars a month. That means that we should be able to do it also, without any problems. It was my mistake to have you manage all of my paycheck. From now on, I'll be only giving you three hundred dollars a month. I'll be using the rest of my paycheck on me. That's just it, okay? No, there's no way that is okay. How do you think we'd live off of just three hundred dollars a month? We can't even pay our rent, and that doesn't even cover our living expenses at all. Shut up! I'm not going to be fooled anymore. You've been wasting all my money all along. It doesn't cut it just with your pay, so that's why I work also. You only make enough for your allowance. Don't talk to me like you equal to me. My friend said that he can live with that. Don't say a word when you don't even put a penny into this household. Anyway, for all the time you've spent doing whatever you want, I will be doing as I please. My husband would not listen to a word I say. He'd buy all the clothes he wants and take out junior members of his company out of drink with them. He started spending like he had a higher earning position. I was saving my paycheck for our future, but there wasn't anything I could do. I started covering the expenses for both of us in order to learn our living expenses. I couldn't help but feel like I had to pick up more work. So I've been taking on more work orders, and that meant I couldn't get around to the housework so much, and it was a struggle every day. Oh my gosh, it's already this late. One day, I was so focused on work. By the time I noticed it, it was already past six o'clock, which means my husband was coming home soon. I knew I had to start cooking soon. But was so tired from work that day that I just didn't feel like starting now. So I decided that I would roll the pizza today. Hey, I'm home. Wait, are you saying that this is our dinner tonight? My husband was clearly pointing at the pizza with an unsatisfied look. I'm sorry, I got so busy with work that I didn't have enough time to cook. What? You just sit around and do nothing. There's no way that you were too busy. Didn't I tell you? I work from home now. That job that you just played around on the computer with, I doubt that makes you any money. How many times do I have to tell you? Stop being so ignorant when you only make enough for your allowance. Are you serious? Since you only give me three hundred dollars a month, I work to support the both of us. Don't lie. My friend at work said three hundred dollars a month is more than enough. Does that even include rent? They must either live with their parents or have paid off their house because it is impossible otherwise. I don't know all the details, but there is someone that is able to do it. So make it work with that three hundred dollars. I just can't believe it. That is just an insane request. I provide for you, so just do it, you bad wife. Huh? 
Who are you calling a bad wife? That pissed me off the most. I am not as forgiving to be quit when someone calls me a bad wife. Okay, let's do what you requested and budget with three hundred dollars. I will make you see how rough it is to budget with just three hundred dollars. I'm home. What's for dinner tonight? We're having Hamburg steak tonight. Oh, I see. Wait, what is this? It doesn't even taste like meat, or the food texture isn't even like it. Yeah, because it's made from tofu. Tofu? Why not meat? We can't afford that. What do you mean? I gave you enough money. That's right. So I'm doing my best to live lavishly with the budget we have. My husband looked unconvinced, but I ignore him and continue to eat. The next day, I served bean sprouts stir fry, rice, and miso soup with an egg. I even made fish cakes look like meat with sweet and sour seasoning over rice. And on another day, I served natto, rice, and just miso soup with tofu. His mood seemed to get worse daily, but I didn't let it bother me. Eventually, he came to his breaking point. Just knock it off. Are you trying to punish me by annoying me? You keep on slacking on cooking. Is it because all of my paycheck that you were using has been taken away and you're mad at me now? I am upset, but that is not the reason. That isn't it. We never could live lavishly with just your paycheck. Don't lie to me when my friends are living off three hundred dollars. There's no way we can live lavishly with my paycheck. Why don't you go talk to that friend of yours once? If you really think that two adults can live off of three hundred dollars a month, you have no clue about money. It's not like you're a king of oil and has money like it's growing off a tree. Why are you so ignorant? Huh? You're the one that is ignorant. It's hard for a housewife to see the world that way. I do. My husband would never believe me when I explained about our living expenses. Instead, he just abuses me. How on earth do I convince this idiot? Then something unexpected happened. A friend contacted me while I was home. Hey, isn't this Rob? I was mortified when I saw the picture she sent me. It was at a spacious bar in the city. What appeared to my husband appeared to be having a pleasant conversation with a young woman, with their arms intertwined. This friend of mine attended the matchmaking party that my husband and myself met at, so she knows my husband also. Since it was spacious bar with dim light, my husband didn't seem to notice my friend. And my husband and that young girl left the bar while their arms were intertwined. My husband said that he was going out to grab a drink with his coworker. If he is lying to me. And meeting with a young woman, this means he is cheating, right? My anger was at peak. He only gave me three hundred dollars a month and abuses me, but he is having a good time with a young woman. I have completely lost the love that was left for him at the moment. All I could think of now was to give him hell. After that, I went to a private inquiry agency to collect evidence of my husband's affair. A few weeks later, I got the results. There was more than enough photo evidence of my husband's infidelity. I showed it to my lawyer, and the lawyer said that I would be able to get a divorce and my husband would be liable. I showed the evidence and demanded a divorce to my husband right away. You've been hiding this affair from me. You are the worst. I cannot trust you any longer. Let's get divorced. My husband seemed a little agitated, but started talking back immediately. Ha!、Huh, yeah, that's right. I cheated on you, because you're the bad wife. 
My mistress is young and cute and doesn't seem to spend money like crazy like you do. I bet I'd be happier if I broke up with you and be with her instead. Okay. This shouldn't be the problem then. I won't be asking you to split your assets, but I'll be getting compensation for this. Yeah, do whatever you wish to. As he said that, he went and signed the divorce papers. And that is how our marriage ended. Can't believe that the four years that we've been together ended so easily. I'm glad I broke up with him though. After our divorce, I bought a condo for myself and started my new life there. I no longer have a man that complains so I can do old housework as I please. Now I'm able to live stress-free and comfortably. I even thought to myself that I should have done this much sooner. I guess my ex-husband brought his mistress to that house and started living with her. I'm sure time will tell her the truth eventually. I will have my ex and the mistress pay for this. I don't care how much he complains, I will squeeze it out of him legally. About a month after our divorce, my ex started calling me like crazy. When I finally answered, he seemed to be in panic. Hello? What do you need? Hey, how were you managing our finance when we were together? What do you mean? When I told my new girlfriend the $300 for this month, we got in an argument. And she said that if that's all I'm giving her, she's leaving and just left. <laughs> that really sucks. I thought that she is a terrible woman and started doing everything on my own. But it just isn't enough money at all. Of course it's not. Your rent itself is $1,200 a month. You only get paid $1,500 monthly. There is no way you can live decently living in that place. But my friend said that he can manage to live with $300 a month. See, that's what I told you to talk to your friend before. I've always told you that $300 a month doesn't cut in. But you never listened to me and just abused me. So this is all your fault. I'm sorry. Please come back, Emily. Are you insane? Don't be thinking that I just let you come back to me. I will never go back to you. You better pay my compensation. I, I don't have money for that. Move out of the condo and rent somewhere cheap. I don't care if you're broke or not. I will continue to demand for the compensation. I can't believe this. I kept on sending a request for him to pay me the compensation after that. But he wouldn't pay me, so I reached out to his parents. But then I found out that they didn't even know about the divorce and they got extremely upset towards him. They paid me instead of him. They paid me in whole and that was good. They forced my ex to move back with them under their supervision and have him pay them of every month. I'm sure he has no money to do anything but just go to work and home to his parents. And when I told his parents what went on when we were married, they apologized for spoiling him. And now they have been doing housework for them. Also, is what I heard last. He deserves all of this because he just did whatever he wanted up until now. I hope this knocked some sense into him. I'm doing well with my working from home and have saved off some money. One thing I can thank my ex is that I learned money saving recipes while living with him that allows me to save so much on food. Once I have more money saved up, I like to invest and grow my assets. Retired in the new future and to live comfortable is my current goal. The fact that he thought he can support two adults for $300 a month just seems like he was an outrageous idiot. I'm just impressed that he was able to live like that in the real world. 
I can't believe this lady was able to stay with him for four years. I feel like she was overly patient, but it is good to hear that she is living alone comfortably. I hope her dream to retire soon come true. Thank you for watching to the end. Please subscribe to our channel.